Hello healing warriors and healers. Hello my friends. Today we're going to talk about walking. Hi, my name is Deborah Rogers. I'm a holistic occupational therapist. Welcome and please join me today as we talk about walking and coordinating our walking with our breathing to make it easier for us. So since post-COVID, things may have changed. Walking might have once felt automatic for you where we didn't have to think about it much and now after COVID and having all these symptoms of dizziness, perhaps more easily losing balance or increased heart rate or short of breath, walking has become much more laborious and we have to think about it a lot when we walk. Perhaps you tend to hold your breath more when you walk or you get shallow breath and perhaps it's even harder to walk outside. It's a lot easier walking in a controlled environment indoors than going outside in a very uncontrolled environment. It could be bumpy, there's hills that you weren't even aware of before, and just the weather alone can make it difficult, such as cold weather versus warmer weather, or it may be even too hot weather. And having to wear a mask can make it even that much more difficult to walk and breathe. Also, because it's more, it can be, feel more difficult to get from point A to B, now you may be filled with anxiety when you're walking or frustration or sadness. There can be a lot of emotions that are around not being able to walk like we used to and not being able to breathe like we used to. But we can train the way we breathe and walk with mindful awareness, enabling us to feel more solid and grounded with each step that we take. Each mindful breath, each mindful step can bring us back to our present moment, back to our body, back to the here and now, where we can feel more present and less anxious as well. We can change our perceptions and we can begin to perceive each step with gratitude instead of fear or anxiety. And our body, our home, with reverence, we can begin to feel reverence for it as we begin this process. Each step is an opportunity to rest in the present moment. This is a great opportunity to start looking at walking differently because it is each step is an opportunity to rest in the present moment, to live and experience in that moment. So let's walk and breathe in a way that connects our mind deeply with our body and to sense calmness and perhaps even wonder and awe that can exist within us. So we're gonna be walking very slowly. It may be helpful for you to hold on to a counter perhaps if you tend to um, lose your balance, because when you walk a little slower, um, you can kind of feel a little more unsteady because we're not, not using that momentum. But the reason why we're walking slowly is one, we don't want to get short of breath, two, we don't want to get more anxious, and three, we want to be able to coordinate our breath with our step, with each step we take. We're going to be paying attention to our feet as we walk, helping us feel more grounded, and to the sensations of our foot, each foot, of each step as it moves. Okay, so let's practice. When um, I'm walking, I am actually usually have an oximeter on me or I'm checking my heart rate manually. Um, if you saw my other video, the breathing video, how you check your heart rate manually is you take two fingers. Put it on your radial artery, which is just under the base of the thumb. And then you count for 15 seconds. You count the number of beats that you feel in your pulse. Multiply by four. And that's your heart rate for the one minute for 60 seconds. Okay? So if you've been working closely with your PT exercise physiologist or doctor about what your heart rate should be and what it should not exceed, then it's very important while you're practicing walking to monitor your heart rate and even perhaps your oxygen because you don't want to exceed it because we're trying to retrain the body on walking and the nervous system to remain in a calm balanced state as well as the heart rate and the breath okay so in let's just practice and you can also hold on to a chair if you'd like a chair right here have a chair handy so you can sit down if you need to rest 
you can hold on, and you can also practice just walking in place. But we're always going to begin with our diaphragmatic breathing, 360 breathing. Like, it's almost like feeling like this is a barrel, our core is a barrel, and as we breathe on the inhalation, it expands all directions. On the exhalation, it relaxes. All right, so we're going to try to go for the kind of four on the inhalation, pause, kind of six to eight on the exhalation. So breathing in, pause, Okay, let's do that again. So it's a great way to begin by just calming our nervous system. Okay, so we're going to begin with, we're going to start with one step as we breathe in, and the next step we breathe out. We're going to be taking it super slow, and the reason is we're really trying to train our body and our mind to coordinate this breathing and to become aware a feeling grounded and supported by the floor, by the ground, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, and I'll hold on to the chair. Breathe in, one step. Breathe out, take the other step. Okay, let's try that again. And this time I want you to just, I invite you to bring your awareness down to the heel of your foot as you take the step and then the ball of your foot as you push off, okay? So we're gonna breathe in to bring your awareness to the pressure of the heel of your foot and breathe out as you feel the ball of your foot, the pressure push you off when you took that other breath, okay? Feeling the weight, feeling what your body does for you, what your feet do for you. Okay, and now we're gonna progress with our breathing and our steps. Breathe in, focusing on your heel, focusing on the ball of your foot, pushing off with each movement. We're grounding our awareness also into our feet. And this also can help with anxiety if you're feeling short of breath or pain in your lungs and you, you get very anxious. Bring your awareness down to your feet where you can feel really grounded and stable. You can even like push your feet into the floor and that can help you feel that weight of your body and the support of the floor. Sometimes you can kind of like stomp it out and that helps you feel it. It gets your awareness out of your mind that's freaking out because it's so scary not being able to breathe and walking can be very nerve wracking and bringing your awareness to your face. So let's start for a kind of, let's inhale for kind of two and exhale for kind of two. Bringing our awareness to our belly as well as to our feet. If it's too hard to divide your attention, maybe pick the belly because we're focusing on the breath or the rib cage. You can put your hands on the side of your rib cage if that helps give you that extra tangible input of your breathing. All right, so we're gonna inhale for two. Exhale two. Okay, let's try that again. We're gonna inhale two. Exhale two. And then just pause and rest and inhale for count of four, exhale for a count of six. These inhalations and exhalations of two, they're still elongated, they're not short because it's all about the pacing and the control. All right, so let's inhale, count of three. And exhale. So what we want to do is <clears throat> keep just practicing this slow, slow walking and breathing because then when you can carry it from the inside, eventually you can practice outside, perhaps in the driveway or just in front of the home. I don't advise going for a long walk around the block unless you're really ready. I've gotten stuck thinking I was ready going for a walk around the block and it was a little chiller. I was halfway around the block and I got so out of breath I didn't even know how I was going to make it home. And then another time, my heart rate increased like up to 187. I was just down the block. It was a quarter of the block. And I had to really pause, do my breathing. And I actually sat down on the sidewalk. And then, and then I was able to make it back. So it's really difficult um, when you're outside versus inside. So make sure you first, you really practice inside and feel good. 
okay, unless you know that it's warm and you have a got, you can just practice your driveway, your driveway safe and flat, um, you got a place to sit if you need to, all right, I hope you found that helpful. I hope that helped because now after practicing all this, we will be going on to walking more.